Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Inna. I'm a Twitch streamer and I also do reaction videos here on YouTube. You're now on my movie slash TV series slash anime reaction channel, but I also have a music reaction channel. So today we are checking out Fallout, the Amazon series. We are checking episode two. Only yesterday I did episode one and it was awesome. Awesome. Keep in mind that I never played the game. So this is like brand new world, brand new information for me. And I was stunned at the first episode. Like the woman, was too stunned to speak like literally like some parts I was like mm. so I want to see if it gets any better with episode 2 because of course episode 1 was like the introduction to all the main characters to to where we are to the situation of the world so I really want to see how everything develops and with no further ado we're gonna get straight into the, uh, the episode number two of course it's always friendly reminder that here on YouTube we have the edited version well if you want to see the full reaction it's gonna be very soon over on my patreon and I will do my best to react back to back to all eight episodes and have them out as soon as possible okay let's go let's go puppies what did we just kill the puppy like that oh no I, i'm not feeling great this is not not a good start no i don't like that Ugh. poor puppies so this is the chosen one that is growing He's buying the puppy, right? Or what? No, he's not buying it. He, the puppy has been selected for something. Radiation testing, I'm afraid. Are we back to to before the explosion? Or is this right after the explosion? The actor, isn't that Ben from Lost? That is Ben from Lost. <laughs> Long time no see. What are you gonna do to the puppy, foe? Puppy's growing. But too much of that stuff is. Oh. Is that a good place for you? He's he's doing experiments on the dog, right? I don't like that. As a dog person, I don't like that. If he makes the dog suffer, I will throw punches. Like. Oh my god, what is he gonna do to the dog? I'm ready to fight. Wait, he's drinking? I'm ready. He's doing what to himself? What the hell was that? Oh. oh, I just got like a flash of nausea just looking at that. He implanted a chip on, in himself. A chip or something. Oh. Isn't that the same thing that people in the vault were wearing on the wrist to check out radiation and stuff? Isn't that exactly the same thing? I mean, he's protecting the owner. Yeah. He protected the owner. Oh my god. Can't blame the, blog, the dog for that. But what the hell just happened? Incident response. This is sketchy. That's a bunker. Please remain calm. What the hell did just happen? I'm feeling physically sick. Like, ugh. But that's just like the dog person in me. Whenever like dogs are involved in this type of things, I'm not feeling good. Like, leave leave the puppies alone. Where's Lucy? Imagine being on the outside world for the first time. I think that it's this is her first time ever outside. Just imagine the disbelief in in seeing all of this. And if this is actually California, holy cow! 
holy cow all that sand i'm surprised that she's not checking the radiation level with her massive watch or like whatever that is i don't know that it's not a watch but you know the device what is she seeing now what did she just see Oh, a whole family with a baby. Ah, they must have died there on the spot, right? Oh, also a dog again. They must have died there on the spot altogether while eating. <gasps> Wait, did they poison each other? They didn't die from the explosion. They poisoned each other because they knew what was coming. And they just like decided to go gracefully. Is that what happened? Yeah, I'm so surprised that she's not checking radiation levels because her father in the first episode said that the next generation, like her children, would be the ones that potentially are able to try to recolon recolon rec recolonize. That's the word because radiation's level would probably be okay, but not right now. Not her in this moment. So I'm surprised that she's not checking on the radiations at all. Low growling versus an animal. Is that the same dog? Looks like it. It's a German Shepherd. It's a roach. <gasps> There's the guy. Where did they come from? Like they just appear? Before the war, people joked about cockroaches surviving a nuclear blast. <laughs> but they didn't really. They fried. Improved. Cute. <gasps> Such as yourself, roaches now attack humans. So the dog definitely defended her. Sir, I'm looking for my father. He was uh, kidnapped by this woman named Moldaver. Listen, you need to go home, mm. miss. I do not think you would be willing to do what it takes. Oh, she's gonna. She's she's strong. She's gonna. I'm not going back without She's determined. Dad. Yes, girl. Yes. What a weird encounter. Like, what a weird man. He knows stuff. That is for sure. And he survived. And he's also thriving, so... Oh, we are at, back at the Maximus part. Intimidating. <laughs> A little intimidating. That, that help with mobility? Mm. Okay, so we now learn that they can, like, customize their suit, right? Clean that. Ooh, not friendly. Labeled as not friendly. <laughs> Clean that. You slave. My lord, we were assigned to search. What? I'm bored and I want to shoot something. <laughs> um. Okay, so here we do have a bit more vegetation, at least. Like it still looks like kind of a desert area, but with vegetation. Oh, also here, the trees are thriving. It seems okay. So I guess that like it's true that radiation levels are slowly going lower because like vegetation is able to grow again. Where is the dog going? Something in that cave, huh? Mm. I think that that's not good. It's not tasty. The dog is just going. Okay. Doggo? <gasps> that seems fresh. Is that the father's hand? Creature roars in distance. Oh my god, so if the roaches kind of evolved like that and like became, became super strong and they go for humans, I wonder like potentially what other creatures did the same thing. Like, I don't know, cats. <laughs> cats are strong now and they're going for humans. No, I'm just kidding, but you know. Ooh, wait. 
We're gonna... We're in the same spot, aren't we? That's exactly the same cave. They were here? A man? And a dog? Ma <gasps> That's the target! Fuck. <gasps> Wait, so they are scared as well of whatever is in there. They are scared as well. Mm. What are they scared of? I honestly don't know. Go see if the target's in there. My, my lord, I, I don't have armor. You are in a suit through acts of bravery. This is an act of bravery. Oh, what are you gonna say to that? Ah, uh, I don't think that he's gonna die because he's obviously one of the main characters because he was introduced like it in the first episode. But he's gonna go through trouble, definitely. What's the problem, dipshit? Rude! Okay, so my theory was not wrong with all other animals evolved too. Is that a wolf? What is Maximum gonna do in this situation? Like this wolf slash bear, whatever it is, is bigger than the Lord. And this creature has been through a lot. Look at the skin. Wait, it died? The Lord died? It was... Oh no, still alive. That was graphic. Oh my god. And now we're gonna see who's actually inside. Let's see. There's kind of something kind of funny about this right now, seeing who's the human inside the suit. Stupid midgets. This voice is actually kind of funny. A fucking toaster. A fucking toaster. You know what you can do with a fucking toaster, Robin? <coughs> get me a stim pack. Can you get me a fucking stim pack instead of just standing there? What is a stim pack? Oh. Wait, that looks like the needle that L Lucy used after she got stabbed. Stupid motherfucker, you know this is all your fault. Uh, this is all your fault? You know what they do to squires? That don't do their fucking job. They hang you and let the vultures come get you. Okay, you're being rude. Because, like, he still saved your ass. If, he, if it wasn't for him, you would be meat right now. You would be beef for that bear. So, I actually think that Maximus is not gonna save him now. Because he obviously needs that needle thing to heal. Uh, what happens if Maximus doesn't give it to him? Or, like, shoots him directly? Because this guy is literally telling him, like, if you heal me, if we come back alive, I'm just gonna tell everybody else that you didn't do your job and you're gonna die. You're gonna be tortured to death. That's exactly what the guy is saying. Like, Maximus? Why would he save him, save him right now? It's a case of one of us leaves, me or you. Isn't it? He's just gonna sit there and watch him beg until he dies. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Maximus is determined. Oh, somebody else that Excuse Lucy me. finds. <laughs> Excuse me with a gun. You got weapons. <gasps> Money. It's okay. I just want to ask you for directions. <laughs> Looking friendly with a f massive gun in your hand. What Sorry. a weird walk. Great. Uh, mm. You haven't happened to have seen a group pass by with a prisoner? <laughs> what a random question. What's Philly? Town. Where's the town? Right here. Never been myself. You just stay here. Live with me. Use a family, it helps a lot of work. Ah, uh, 
<laughs> no, thank you, sir. I think I'm dying. Oh, you wouldn't have to put up with me for too long. <laughs> this could all be yours. Thank you. How can you say no to that? that gun. Oh, it was really no problem. <laughs> no problem for not shooting you with a gun. No problem. No. I, I know I'm laughing because it's funny, but it's so sad and dramatic if you really think about it. I know, I know, but it's low key funny. Oh, so he died, died. Yeah, he's going into the suit. So is this like a case where basically the Lord is the AC, AD carry, the strong one, the tank, and uh, then the squire is their support that has to keep them alive? I'm thinking of League of Legends at least. Girls, watch out. Watch out. Must feel good. Must feel good, yeah. <laughs> running like a child he literally dreamed of this forever ever since he was a child wait who's screaming oh my god the power that having this suit has i think that he's actually guilty of doing something is he looking for a squire himself? <gasps> Look at. The guy was fucking my chickens. <laughs> Excuse me? Not literally, right? <laughs> but like, he was doing what to the chickens? <laughs> I hope, like, that it doesn't mean what it actually means. Because. Mm, poor chickens. Cars. Is this like an old parking lot? That's exactly what it looks like. Cars just remain there. Oh, people. I'm surprised to see that like she has no trouble approaching people. Oh wait, there's more people. The goats? There's actually tons of goats. Tons of goats. Uh, goats and people and animals and stuff. What the hell? Because... From the way that they portrayed it, like, in the first episode, it almost looked like the main, like, basically whole humanity is gone, and the people in the vaults are the ones that survived, and there are, like, you know, a few other small groups here and there uh, that have been living in the outside world in anarchy. But it seemed like the vault people were, like, the majority. But look at this. There's so many people that are surviving and are living. Like, they have their own type of society and organization. Hmm. Surprised about that. There's, this is a whole market. Because this absolutely looks like a city. A questionable one, maybe, but it is a city. Yeah, look at that. She, she's also smiling. She definitely wasn't expecting this, I'm, I'm assuming. They, they are like a rebuilt society in a way, up there in the surface with radiations and stuff. Hmm, what is that? Oh, and he also like had bullets here. Bullets with some red liquid. Not everybody seems friendly, I'll tell you that. They don't seem like the friendliest society of the world. <gasps> oh, a cow with two heads. Oh, that's the guy! That's the guy! Okay, 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 okay yeah, that's him. The, the, um, the last scene from the first episode, the, the one that were, was underground buried. And also, I read your comments that I did guess correctly that he is actually the cowboy from the beginning of the episode. Like, the one that had the, the, the little girl, the little child. It is the same man. Ooh. I wonder if he's going to be the evil, because, like, so, uh, the evil, sorry, the... Um, not the evil, the the villain. Is he gonna be the villain? Because so far it looks like it, but you never know. He might turn out like good. Who knows? Who knows? We're, go we're gonna see. That's definitely him, yeah. Wait, we have seen that before. Where have we seen that already? With little statue? Uh, hi there. But I'm actually looking for one criminal in particular. You're an actual vault dweller. Mm -mm. I am. 
I thought all you sardine fucking dipshits were dead bodies. Ma'am, the radar I'm looking for is about five foot nine. Barb! A woman in her 50s, I think. Barb! Goes by the name of Barb, Mold get Aver. in here, you... Get back to your fucking room, Barb. The name. I... I had that reaction. Who she is? Everyone knows who Moldaver is. Mm. You don't mess around with her, right? And when exactly were you planning on saving America? The vaults were nothing more than a hole in the ground for rich folks to hide in while the rest of the world burned. Oh, that's, that's a tough thing to say, but I'm assuming that it's true. Fuck the vaults. Oh, and I mean, she did not hold back. She was honest <laughs> and she is not shooting her yet. So take it as an advice. And yeah, I mean. Maybe it wasn't the help that she expected, but definitely like a reality check that she maybe needed. Maybe. That's the man with a dog again, isn't it? Yeah. Is she? Oh, they're gonna meet again. Yep. Yep. You again, miss. Really think you should go home. You are not safe here. You come from Vault 33. Your primary crop is corn. You have a telesonic projector in your farm. He knows a lot. Who are you? That's the question. You will sit. I told you to get the fuck out of here. Zing. Oh, he was waiting for him. Oh, this is scary. <laughs> Everybody's noticing the bad vibes. Look at that. People are leaving. People are leaving. They're just like hiding because they know that shit is about to happen. Or you wouldn't happen to be a doctor, would you? A doctor? You know your kind ain't welcome. Uh, last night a bounty came in through all six agencies. Agency? On the head of a man that fits the description of that fellow, right? Oh... Yeah. So, okay, so we have a confirmation that he, the, the man with the dog is actually the man of the dog that is also the target. Um, what did he do at this point? Like, we, we saw him escaping and stuff. We saw him implant the chip. We saw him experimenting, testing things. He had on the wrist the same tool that people of the vault have. Even though we don't see it now. So, and now we know that he's a doctor. Uh, this man knows a lot. He's wise. And I'm assuming that he has, like, lots of resources. At least, like, knowledge. as If you consider that as a resource. Who, 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 who. But on which side is he gonna be? Is he gonna lie to, with Lucy? I don't, I don't know. But I've been paid a whole lot of caps to provide this man safe transport out of Philly. <laughs> What? The foot is gone? Oh my god, so serious. So serious. Attention! So many people are about to die, right? So many. <gasps> Lucy, you hide, you hide. <gasps> he made a massive hole. This, uh, this is not a normal gun. What the hell is that? How do you call that weapon? Did I see a head flying off? What the hell is this weapon? Oh, and he's just gonna steal food. What a criminal. So yeah, I'm assuming that he is a villain. <laughs> I had doubts before. Oh my god. But he is a criminal. Oh, uh, don't. Oh! Okay. 
he got shot. Why does he look like he's still having a great time? Just like keeps chewing on the tomato. He literally got hit. Don't you have a hole in your chest? Or several ones? Oh, look, yeah, these are the bullets that I saw earlier. Oh. The man died like that and he did not flinch. Wow, that's precise. Is literally everybody going to die here? And where is the dog, by the way? The dog went inside to eat. Mm, she got hit on the knee. Mm. For the tomatoes. <gasps> he paid for tomatoes. So he did not steal. Technically, he paid. <gasps> that was graphic. Oh, there's the dog. Oh! If the dog dies. I feel so bad for the dog. I'm crying for the dog. She has a gun. She sees another weapon there. Several more we- That's a massive weapon. <gasps> oh my god, look at her! I have to ask you to leave him alone. Girl! Girl, what the hell? Is to harm me? As a person simply trying to de-escalate a conflict, then I'll have to assume of the two of you, you are likely the primary aggressor. What the hell? What are you doing? What the hell? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. That didn't do anything. Well, now that is a very small drop in a very, very large bucket of drugs. Oh, fuck. Maximus. Oh. Knight Titus of the Brotherhood of Steel, stand down or be cut down. Stand down or be cut down? Huh. Oh. Interesting. The gun is not working. By the way, can I just tell you that in this scene, I find it like almost funny how Lucy is so naive, but it's not her fault. It's like literally the word that she was brought in. That's why like, you know, I'm here to resolve the conflict or whatever. But like, girl, read the fucking room. It's not the moment to have conversations like that. That type of talking is not going to work around here. And it's pretty obvious. So she's either being super naive or... Or she has like some other plan that we don't know of yet, but I have no idea what it could be. So like, I, honestly, I just think that she might be naive like that. Hi. It's in here to find him. Get him inside and keep him there until I've dealt with the ghoul. Okay. Oh, the man with the dog. I found it pretty cute that Maximus like showed his face, like showed his human side to Lucy. Because I feel like normally people in suits don't do that, right? They, they are like that guy that died. Like, they're just assholes. He's not here to... to play around. Okay, sorry, I'll, I'll pause again just to say one thing. There, there might be a little problem, not like problem, but definitely, definitely a difficulty with Maximus right now. This is basically the first time that he's actually using the suit. As far as we know, this is the first day of him using the suit. And I'm just assuming that you need to, you know, feel comfortable in a suit like that. It has so many abilities and tools that you need to know how to use. I'm assuming that people that actually get assigned to a suit, like go through a training to know how to use it properly. He obviously did not have anything like that. He's just like hopped in and he's testing it out now, out in the wild, in a, in a real fight. So maybe he's gonna have some difficulties with that. Like you can't really use the, the suit to its full potential if you don't know how to, right? <laughs> Barv is just there chilling as if nothing was happening. He's so used to the gunshots that... She's admiring Maximus. Was that a knight? A knight. She's 
so naive. I think they'd be a lady. Like I read my room, girl. It's not a moment to ask that. Holy moly, yeah. She can take me. Huh? What? She can take me? What? I need you to take this man here to my client. But the client is uh, the Moldovan person, I isn't it? The name of Lee Moldaver. I knew that! I knew it! I freaking knew it! Look yeah. at the face. You ain't getting near Moldaver without something to bargain with. And delivering this guy right here is your best option. Ooh. Well, what does Moldaver want with you, Bobby? She steals dads. <laughs> she steals dads. But okay, big problem here. Because Maximus, who literally just saved her life, told her to keep uh, the Ben from Lost guy here. Because, like, that's his target. But now the woman is telling her, you can, like, reach the woman, Moldaver, uh, if you take the man to her. So, what she's gonna do, I think that she's still gonna go for the dead route, of course. Like, she can be grateful to Maximus, but she's here, she's out there in the wild. She's putting herself in danger to find her dead. So, I think that that's what she's gonna do, but I don't know. It, it's easier said than done, to be honest. Sorry, I can do this. You can. Oh, back, oh my god. The fight is intense. I mean, he could just step on him and he would be done. Pretty much. Right? Just squish him. Blah. Maximus sees her. Uh, she, she understands that they're leaving, right? No. <gasps> he got stuck. No. Oh, fucking shopping cart mm, that's what i meant earlier he didn't do the basic training so now he has trouble Four number one uh, read the manual it, oh. is lucy gonna come save him oh wait he did free him but he broke something obviously the balance is not there anymore oh and he just flies away no what he's losing he definitely lost control of the suit so now he can do whatever he wants <gasps> he, he did what oh my and now we're gonna see the scene and what is the dog excuse me they're leaving and where's the dog because he, he killed the dog. I forgot that he, he did kill the dog. Oh my god. My brain removed that memory. Oh my god, that poor dog. Oh, he can't find him anymore. They escaped. Yup. The story gets complicated now. Really complicated. The dog is still alive. Oh, it's stabbed. Oh my god, the bastard is gonna use the dog to track down the owner, isn't he? He's gonna heal the dog just to use it as a tool to track them down. That's what he's gonna do, yeah? He's using the healing thing on the dog. Mmm... <laughs> Bastard, bastard. I hate this part. I'm hating this so much. Yeah, I mean, the dog is okay now, but he's gonna go look for the owner. Oh my god, this is evil. Evil, and yeah, he's now walking around with the dog. Oh my god. 
I hate this. Like the dog wants to look for the owner because of the love and the affection and the bond that they have. But this evil cowboy noseless man is gonna use it as a tool to hurt the man. They're leaving tracks behind, we have to say that. So they are potentially easy to find. Because look at the tracks and the sand. I think that it's an important detail. It might be used. Oh my god, look at that blood. Holy moly. Holy moly, yeah. Holy cow. You are going to get across that wasteland. And we're going to do it together. That's a promise. No, you see, I've just promise. taken a cyanide pill. <gasps> what? The Voltec. What? It tasted like banana. I, I was surprised it tasted like banana. People are going to come after you. Oh. You need to move quickly. You can change the future. You can change the future? But how am I going to bring you if you're... You know, not, not my whole Dad. Uh, just my head. What? Uh, no. You. I'm begging you. And this is the I'm begging you? But why does he care so much? Wait, I'm confused because like it really seems like the man doesn't care about his own survival, but he cares for her to make it to Moldava. He knows something. He knows that if he does it, stuff like bigger stuff is gonna happen, right? How does he know that though? What? I'm so confused. There are so many elements. Oh, he's dying now. <gasps> he's dead. He's already dead. He just died. He just died. Uh, oh my god. Is she gonna be able to do it for now? Is she gonna cut the head? Oh, I mean, it seems like the only thing that she can do. Holy cow. And the poor dog will be looking for the, for the owner and he's gonna find the body. Headless body. Oh my god. Music stops. She's doing it. Are they gonna show it to us? Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Okay, but they're not showing us. And the episode ends here. Oh my god, honestly, can I tell you that I'm so relieved and happy that they did not show us the graphic part of her cutting off, sewing off the head. I'm so happy. Like, it's it's the right thing to do, don't get me wrong, like, he's already dead. Uh, so sh she needs to do it, but oh my god, just imagine for a second being in her situation and actually having to do that. Sewing off the head and carrying it around for lord only knows how long like hopefully she's gonna make it fast there because like it's 20 miles but like you know the sun the heat and it's gonna do stuff oh my god it's gonna do stuff <sighs> that was intense and honestly i'm so sad about the dog part because now i'm wondering what's gonna happen eventually the dog is gonna find the body but of course, they will figure out that the head is no longer there. So I wonder if the dog is going to still follow the head. And is the dog going to understand that like she sewed off the head? So like the dog will have her as a target and like will try to own her. I don't know. Guys, there's only one thing to say. I need to watch these episodes back to back. Um, I am so sorry that today I have to film like other stuff so I can watch any other episodes tomorrow. But I'll do my best to check them out. Uh, sorry, I can film any episodes today. But I will try to film at least like 
two or three tomorrow and have them online as, as, as soon as possible over on Patreon and edit them as soon as possible also for YouTube because honestly this is like such an amazing series so far I am loving it it's um I'll tell you I like how it's moving fast but like of course it's only eight episodes so we kind of have to rush things but I don't mind that because sometimes I am a little bit impatient and like I hate it when series are super slow I'm like please give me something and here they're giving us a lot every single episode and I'm I'm loving it I just cannot wait to see how the story continues guys let me know if there's um, anything that I missed in this episode let me know all of your thoughts all of your comments of course as always no spoilers please no spoilers for me and for everybody else that hasn't seen the other episodes yet so please try to to limit that as much as possible thank you so much for being here guys i'm gonna see you real soon with another episode and also of course as always i'm gonna link down below my twitch and my uh, other youtube channel my instagram and all those good things feel free to check them out and i'm gonna see you real soon bye Mwah. <laughs>